So grab your band, stretchy band, and remember also that all the stretchy bands will have different amounts of tension. So it looks like I'm pulling my arms really far. You're not expected to do the same. All right, I think everybody can see me. You're going to take your band, sit somewhere comfortable, and pop your band around your back. So if you think of the back of a rib cage just behind you, you're going to stretch out the band, bend your knees just slightly, and curl over top of your legs. So a couple big breaths here. You're going to inhale into the rib cage and think of expanding into the band. And exhale, release the breath. So just connecting breath and body here as you inhale into the band. Try to expand the band as you breathe in and exhale. In Pilates, we normally say to inhale through your nose, which works if you're not stuffed up, and exhale through a pursed lip. The reason you do a pursed lip breath, especially if you're doing hard core work, is because you're going to get better core activation through those little muscles in the internal core because of the pressure of the air coming out of the mouth. All right? So random facts of the day. One more breath here. And exhale. Good lengthening back to sitting neutral, however you like your legs to be. If you like legs up front or legs cross, wherever you are happy. Band wrapped around, just um, think just under bra strap line. Sorry if there's any guys here today, but you can imagine elbows tucked into your waist and you're just going to rotate. So exhale, breathe out, lift your pelvic floor and rotate. Inhale, lengthen up through the spine. Exhale, wrap the abs, rotate. And think of rotating at the section where the band is. So that tends to be the tightest section of the spine for a lot of people. Exhale, you're gonna wrap the abs, lift through pelvic floor and rotate the spine as far as you can go. Inhale, lengthen to the center. Exhale, lifting and rotating. Good, inhale back to center. This time, lift your pelvic floor, rotate to the side. You're gonna hold it here and go for three pulses, like you wanna rotate further. For three, for two, one, inhale, center, other side, exhale, lift pelvic floor, wrap the abs and rotate, three, two, one, inhale, center, wrap those abs as you go for three, two, one, inhale, center, other side for three, two, one, inhale, center, last set for three, two, one, back to the center, get that rotation happening, three, Watch your shoulders, not lifting up towards your ears, back to center. Tuck your elbows right into your waist. And you're going to rotate the hands out to the side. Good, release them back to parallel. So we're working rotator cuff here with external rotation of the shoulders. So your humerus, your upper arm, is not moving in space. You're just rotating around that position. Lovely. So elbows stay still. You're just rotating the hands outwards and releasing back in. Lovely. So a bit of rotator cuff. Again, your legs can be however you're happy to sit. You can be in a chair, be whatever you like for this first part. Just warming up. So you should start to feel that little bite in the back of the shoulders. So you want it here, basically, right into the back of that rotator cuff. And a nice burning muscle feeling and not here or here. All right. So hold the hands up to the side, release just a little bit, and then pulse back into that position for eight, seven. Feel that back of the shoulder now kicking in. Five, good for four, three, two. Last one, relax the arms, give your shoulders a shake. Good, and then grabbing your band, you're just gonna breathe in, lift the arms, exhale, bring it back behind you. Inhale, lift the arms, and exhale, back down in front. Inhale to lift, exhale back behind you, good, inhale up. If for any reason somebody can't go overhead, you're just doing pulls of the arms here wherever your shoulders are happy. So inhale up, stretch out those shoulders, probably need it after Easter weekend. Lovely, inhale up, exhale, pull it down. This time hold it up above you, you're going to rotate to the right and pull on the band. Good, inhale up, exhale, pull, rotate the other way. Inhale, lengthen, exhale, pull the band and rotate. Inhale, up and lengthen, exhale, pull the band and rotate. Two more, come up, pull the band and rotate. Good, lengthen through the spine, pull on the band and rotate. Come to center and you're gonna pull the band apart for eight. Pull seven, so it should be the muscles in the back 
of the shoulder between the shoulder blades and the spine. We're beginning the work here for three, two, last one, and then give the shoulders a bit of a shake. Excellent. Come over onto hands and knees. And if you just wrap the band back around the back of the rib cage, you're going to pin it down underneath your hands here. The bands underneath your hands, pelvis is nice and neutral. Probably not fit to wear a big baggy sweatshirt today. It's very chilly this morning in old Western. So from here, you're going to cat stretch. Exhale, lift up through the abs and flex the spine. Inhale, lengthen slowly back to neutral. So exhale, think of lifting against the resistance of the bands. So you can feel what the abs have to do in a cat stretch. And then think of using the abs as breaks as you come back to neutral. So they're resisting the, the downward flexion. Exhale, flex the spine. Release it back to neutral. One more here, exhale, lift through the abs, flex the spine, release it to neutral. Now shoulder blade isolation is really good for those shoulders. Keep your elbows straight, but let your chest drop towards the floor and then press the chest away from the floor. So your shoulder blades are sliding together as your chest drops. They're pressing away from each other as your chest lifts. There's a shoulder blade isolations here. Shoulder blades are moving on the back of the rib cage. Nothing else changes. Really good. One more. So shoulder blades slide together. Shoulder blades come apart. Now keep the lift of the chest away from the floor and go into thread the needle. So you're going to grab one side of the band. Inhale, bring it up. It's almost like the band's assisting your rotation. Exhale, thread it through the other arm. So inhale, lift and open. Exhale, thread it through. Three more on this side, open. Exhale, thread it through for two. And thread it through. Last one, open the chest, exhale, thread it through, pin that right hand down, inhale, left arm up, and exhale, thread, good, inhale, reach and open, and breathe out as you thread it through, for three more here, and thread it through, good, for two, and thread the needle, last one, inhale, open, exhale, thread it through, Good. And then coming up, popping yourself onto your bottoms, wrapping your bed around your feet. Get my socks today, they're monkeys. Very fashionable. All right, bend your knees a little bit here, band wrapped around your feet, half roll back. So like someone's ice cream scooping out the front of you, you're flexing and curving the spine, like you're coming about halfway down to the floor. Breath in here. Exhale, lengthen all the way back up. Now it's really common that as people curl down towards the floor, the shoulders start to do this up towards their ears. So relax your shoulders, use your abs to hold you, not your neck. And then lengthen back up. Exhale, roll the pelvis under, scoop up through the front of you, come halfway back. Good, lengthen it back up. And this time scoop up through those abs, roll it halfway back, hold it there, and think of using your abs to bicep curl, all right? Exhale, tummy muscles, bicep curl. Again, if your band is stronger than mine, your bicep curls might only be this big. That's fine. It's about using the tummy muscles to pull the arms. All right, tummy muscles can't pull the arms, but it's the thought that counts. All right, use your tummy as the arms pull. Last one. Release the arms, lengthen back up. Inhale, sit tall. Exhale, scoop up, roll it back. This time it's a roll back. So use your tummy muscles to roll the elbows. And release. Exhale, tummy, rose the elbows. And release. Good. Exhale, wrap the abs. So the spine's not moving. We're just working through the back of the shoulders for two. Last one here. Pull it in. And lengthen all the way back up. Good. Inhale here. Exhale, roll it back. Last time, I promise. Inhale at the center. Exhale, you're going to rotate and reach your hand up to the opposite corner of the room. And inhale back to center. So exhale to rotate and reach. And inhale, center. Exhale, rotate, reach the arm. Inhale, center. Exhale, rotate, reach it up. And center. Two more. Rotate and reach. Come back to center. Rotate and reach. Come back to center and then roll all the way down to the floor with control. Lovely. I'm just going to look forward so you can see me. Take your band. Tie a beautiful bow onto your knees. 
So you want to tie it with your legs all the way together so that when you bring your feet hip distance apart, you've got some tension on the band. All right, hip rolls here. So inhale at the bottom, exhale, roll up. One vertebrae at a time. And the whole time you're just keeping tension outwards on the band. Inhale at the top, exhale, roll it down slowly. So rolling it with control all the way back to the bottom. Inhale at the bottom, exhale one vertebrae at a time as you come up. So scoop the abs, squeeze the glutes, lift the pelvis, not the ribs. Not a lot to remember at once, right? And then roll it back down, one vertebrae at a time, take your time. The whole time keeping tension outwards on the band to engage those glutes. So rolling it up, tummy, squeeze glutes, press down through the floor, which is going to activate through those hips. Good, and roll it down one vertebrae at a time. This next time as you roll up, you're going to hold it up the top. So use your tummy, squeeze your glutes, press down into the floor, hold it up there. All right, you've got to pull outwards on the band for three, pull outwards, two, one, good, keep the legs parallel, squeeze bum up for three, two, one, go outwards on the band again for three, pull for two, pull for one, good, you've got bum raises for three, squeeze up for two, one, band outwards for three, melt those ribs, two, last one, good, lower your bum and squeeze up for three, for two, for one, roll down through the spine, one vertebrae at a time, coming all the way back to the ground. Hug your knees in under your beautiful bow. Bows are the best because they normally undo quite quickly. Excellent. Feet flat on the ground, arms up above your shoulders. Pelvic tilts here, so arms are just staying. All I want you to do is exhale, tiny tilt of the pelvis, only low abs, no bum, no feet. Inhale, release to neutral. Exhale, engage low abs to tilt the pelvis. Inhale, release to neutral. Exhale, tilt the pelvis. Take a minute, find those little muscles. This time, tilt the pelvis, hold the tilt. Now, option one, one leg comes up and you're reaching the leg out to pull the band, bend it back in. Okay, and you can do five each side. Option two, hold your tilt. One leg comes up, the second leg comes up and we're doing toe taps, all right? So you pick if you need to have one foot on the floor, then you do that. So as you tap the toe away, you're going to pull on the band. Inhale, up. Exhale, tap the toe and pull on the band. Inhale, up. The farther the toe goes away from your bum, the harder you're going to have to work through the abs. So you should feel low abs here. You should also feel that your back stays the same on the floor. So you're keeping that nice little tilt if you get a lot of neck and shoulder tension, you want your head up higher. So you pop a pillow or a stack of towels under your head here to keep the tension in your tummy muscles and out of your neck. Good, you've got four more. If you're doing single leg, make sure you've changed sides now for three. Beautiful, tap it down and away for two. Last one, exhale. Take one leg all the way to the floor, other leg all the way to the floor. Wrap one foot into the band and bring it up like you're having a hamstring stretch here. All right, it's a trick hamstring stretch though because I'm gonna make you work. So a single leg bridge. You're gonna press, keep the spine completely neutral. Don't let your pelvis tilt. Press with the foot that's on the floor and lift your hips right up to bridge position. Good, halfway down. Lift it up, halfway down. Two more up. Halfway down, lift it up, hold it up there. Lower the leg in the band, just to the height of the other knee, float it up. Exhale, lower, inhale up. Two more, lower it down and up. Lower it down and up. Lower your bum, squeeze it up. Lower your bum, squeeze it up. Lower the leg, float it up. Leg, float it up, one more of each bum. Squeeze it up, leg. Lift it up, relax the bum down, pop the other foot in the band, take the first foot out of the band. All right, right legs down to the floor. Keep the foot quite close to the bottom here so that your hamstring's not freaking out. All right, exhale, you're going to lift the pelvis, lower. Lift and lower, two more. You don't have to lower all the way down to the ground, just press through that foot. 
Hold it there for four. Lift the leg up for three. And up. Push into the band. Your hands are not moving. Good. Last one. Lift the leg up. Lower your bum. Squeeze it up. Bum. Squeeze it up. Go leg down and float. Down and float. Now go bum down. Squeeze it up. Leg down. Lift it up. Bum all the way down. Excellent. Pop your right foot back into the band. And you're just holding the hamstring stretch here. You can't see my foot, but you're going to do foot pointing and flexing to point your toes up towards the ceiling. Flex the foot back down. As you point your toe, make sure the foot is in line with what the rest of the leg is doing. So you're not having funky foot kind of turning out or sickling. You want to keep it in a nice straight line with the rest of the leg. All the ballerinas up there. Good. Just keep the foot flexed. Now you're going to rotate the entire thigh. So rotate the entire thigh inwards, coming from the ball and socket joint of the hip, and then rotate it outwards. So you're changing the rotation of the leg to find different sections of the hamstring that are sticky, tight. Beautiful. Hold. Now you're going to take the leg out to the side for an inner thigh stretch. I like to bring my other knee in and take it out to the opposite side. It's not a lady leg stretch, but it's very effective, so we'll do it anyway. Excellent, and breathe. Usually being lady leg is much overrated anyway, right? You have to bring that leg back up. Pop the opposite foot onto the floor, take this leg and cross it over the body, and you get that nice icky stretch down the side of the leg. It's not really nice, is it? It's just icky. That's all right. Bring it back up. Pop the first foot into the band. Take the other leg out. And you've got your foot. Point and flex. Every time you flex the foot and bring the toes back down towards you, it should increase that stretch and make it a little bit more neural. If it's too nervy, just keep the knee a bit bent. You'll get less of that nerve component. So the knee slightly bent, more hamstring. Straighter leg, more of that nerve component. Good. Hold the leg straight. Toes flex towards you, you're rotating the leg down. So an internal rotation and an external rotation of that whole leg. Getting a nice stretch through that hemi. Good, hold it. Take it out to the side and run to the wall. That's okay, other knee hugs in and take those up to the other side. It just balances you out and you breathe. Should be a nice stretch down through that long inner thigh. Excellent. Coming back up to the top. Leg goes onto the floor and the other leg crosses, so the leg in the band crosses over the body to get that ooh, lovely stretch down the side of the leg. Not lovely. Good for you though. Excellent. All right, both feet into the band. That leg's kind of in a tabletop-ish position. Make sure your back is almost pressing onto the floor. As you exhale, you're going to nod your chin, curl up, and reach long through the legs. Inhale, relax it back down. Exhale, curl it up. Now, if that feels icky on your neck, not having your head supported, you just pop one hand behind the head. So exhale, curl it up, flat through the abs, and inhale, release. Exhale, curl it up. Inhale, release it in. If you need to, you do just the legs or just the upper body as a modification. Release it down. Exhale, curl it up, reach the legs. Release it down. Switch hands if you've got your hand behind your head. Exhale, reach. And release. This time, reach the legs long. You're going to bring the legs up. Reach long as you come back down. Inhale up. Exhale, long and down. Two more. Up. Reach long and down. Last one. Up. Long and down. Good. Hug your knees into your chest. Relax your head. Roll onto your side for me. You're going to take your top leg, pop it into the band. Laying onto your side as comfy as you can get. Pin the band onto the floor is the secret of this one. Anybody who's been on my lovely reformer, you'll recognize this as my favorite reformer exercise. You're on your side and you're pressing away. Inhale, bend it in. So your hip, knee, and foot 
are all growing in one nice long straight line here. So you're not going to let your knee drop down. Hip, knee and foot all in a nice long straight line as you press out and bend it in. Excellent. Exhale to press it away and bend it in. So many band exercises. I think this could be a double class. Resume on Friday. Thinking a stretch class on Friday, but I don't know. We'll see. Reach. All right, this time press that leg away, hold it straight, let it sweep forwards just a little bit, and then press into the band, squeeze it back. Fold at the hip, sweep forwards, squeeze it back. Fold at the hip, come forwards, squeeze it back. Last one, forwards, and squeeze it back. Hold it there, little pulses for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, bend that knee in, take the foot out of the band, and then you get to wing your legs over the other side and do it over again. Take the band, wrap it around your foot. It's a fiddly one, it's a fiddly one. Take the band, pin it onto the floor, relaxing the head into the hands, legs up at hip height. You bend the knee into a tabletop position on your side and then press away. Then inhale to bend it into a tabletop position and press it up. That's nice. So foot, knee, and hip all in a nice straight line if possible. Pelvis staying neutral as always. So you're keeping it nice and stable. Gentle work through the core. Press it up. Then inhale, bend it into tabletop. And exhale, press it away. Inhale, bend one more time like this. Press that leg away. Keep the leg straight. You're going to sweep forward slightly. And then use the back of the hip, squeeze back. Inhale forwards. Exhale, squeeze to the back of the hip. Good, come forwards. Squeeze to the back of the hip. Last one forwards. Use that glute max, squeeze back. Now pulse up for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Relax it down. Give it a nice little pat. All right, back on the hands and knees. Bend in that same position we had it before. We've wrapped it around the back of your rib cage, pinned it onto the floor, and we've got some little tricep push-ups here. You're gonna stay on hands and knees. If you're really wanting more of a challenge, you can go into a kneeling push-up, but just make sure your triceps can handle this position first. So you're gonna inhale to bend your elbows straight back. It's almost like you're pinching your elbows in towards each other, so you don't want them to end up here. It'll be more pecs. We want more triceps today. So bend the elbows straight back, come down towards the floor. Exhale, press into the weight of the band to come up. So inhale, bend. Exhale, abs and triceps press you up. So you keep pinching the elbows towards each other here to get them working. You get the triceps working, not the elbows working. Elbows will work as well. If wrists are just not liking it, you can try fists. So doing elbows back. Drop the band if you need to. Otherwise, you always come into a forearm plank, just for fun. All right, come halfway down for the tricep push-up. All right, hold. Come up two centimeters and hold. Good, come down two centimeters and hold. Come down a little bit more, hold, and then all the way up. Good, tuck your toes underneath. Exhale, use your abs to lift your knees two centimeters off the floor. Inhale, release back down. Exhale, lift the knees. Inhale, release. Exhale, hover those knees up. And release. Last one. Exhale, hover the knees up. And release it down. Could come up to a tall kneeling position for me. I'm just going to adjust to the camera a little bit. You can see me better there. All right. So you're going to hinge straight backwards as you punch up with the arms. So hinge back from the knee joints, punch the arms forwards. Inhale, come all the way back up. Good, exhale, hinge back from the knee joint as you punch forwards. So your spine's staying completely neutral and straight. You're in a completely straight line from your knee up to your head. Yeah, exhale to punch and reach back. Keep going, I'm just gonna get the camera room. Get bigger room. Shouldn't complain. Great room. There's no kids in it. Fantastic. 
two more, reach, punch it back. So the big quads will be your limiting factor. And release, the last one. Hinge it back, working from that knee joint. Doing good, release it forwards. Step one foot forwards. Pop the band underneath it. Grab the band and use your obliques to rotate away from the knee. So exhale, you're gonna rotate. If shoulders are happy with it, you lift the arms as well. Exhale, wrap through the core, rotate and reach through the arms. Good. Rotate, reach and wrap. Rotate, wrap the abs and pull through the arms. Two more, exhale, rotate, reach and wrap. And last one here, breathing out as you rotate and reach. Good, changing legs, step your other foot forwards, band wraps underneath the foot, hand holding the band, exhale, wrap the abs, reach and rotate. Release it in, exhale, wrap, reach and rotate. And in, good, wrap the abs as you rotate, arms lift. Good, two more. Exhale, reach, rotate. And in, last time. Exhale, reach, rotate. Back in, good. Slide the foot over the band. You can either stay tall, kneeling, sit back on your knees, sit on your bum, whatever you like, but one hand is going above your head. The other hand grabs the band behind your back. From here, your top arm straightens. Nothing else moves. So your tricep pressing that top arm. Exhale to press. The closer your hands are together on your band, the harder it will be. So adjust for yourself accordingly. Very effective tricep presses. Get straight to the point. Hold on. I've got a chat message. Keep going. Oh, how exciting. Nobody's chatted to me before. Oh, excellent. Hannah wants to know what wrapping the abs means. So Hannah, if you came to core basics, I'm just joking, um, inner layer of the abdomen, because the fibers run horizontally, the inner layer wraps and draws inwards. So if you're using the inner layer, rather than the abs kind of popping outwards or pressing out, you'll get the feeling of drawing inwards. So that wrap the ab cue is just meant to encourage that inner layer of the abs to lock on. All right, same as pelvic floor. You could cue yourself pelvic floor and you'll get the same idea. So let me know if that makes sense. Hold it up the top. How's that tricep? Pulse up for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Release it all the way down and change arms. Put on the tricep straight to the point. One hand behind your head, other hand behind your back. Exhale, you're reaching up and bending down. Good. Don't get me talking on anything slightly nerdy-ish because you'll get so many more reps. <laughs> cool. Press and down. Reach. Good. So it's back of the arm isolating here. Should get right to the point of those triceps. Excellent. Hold it up the top this time and pulse up for eight. For five. Good. For four. Three, two, one. Relax the arm down. Give it all a shake out. All right, two minutes left. I'm going to do a little bit of a standing series here. So come up to standing. Pop your right foot onto the band. Yep. Just believe my right foot's on the band because you can't see all the me. Your left foot's going to come back and you're going to lunge with your back sorry, your front leg is going to stay at 90 degrees as you lunge down. So your knee's not going to go forwards. Your front shin is going to stay vertical is what I'm trying to say. So bicep curl, lunge down, come back up. Good for seven. What I really want you to be doing here is pushing up with that front leg. Ignore the back leg and make the front leg do the work. For three. For two. Last one. Now come halfway down in a lunge, bring your torso almost parallel with the floor, bum stays sticking out, and you're gonna roll your elbows up towards the ceiling for eight. For seven, right bum should feel it, six. For five, go four, three, row two. Last one, good, come up to standing. Pop your left foot onto your band. 
Step your right foot back. All right. Grab the end of your band and you're coming down. Bicep curl and lunge. Press it up. Good for seven. And up. Front shin vertical. Use the front underneath side of the bottom. So when you're down, think underneath side of the bum brings you up. For three. And up. For two. Last one. Bring it up. Come halfway down. Torso parallel to the floor. Thumb sticking out. Row your elbows up for eight. Row for seven. The muscles between the shoulder blade and spine. Six. Five. Row four. Three. Two. One. Good. Step it all the way up. Arms come in front of you. Inhale, arms reach. Exhale down. Pretend I'm standing just so you can see me reach. Pull it up. Up. Pull apart and open the shoulders. Inhale up. Whew, and the breath today. Up and back. Obviously, I didn't do enough on Easter weekend. Last couple of days have been rainy and cold and windy. Goodness gracious, the wind. Last ones. Inhale up and back. Up. And forwards, quick neck stretch, and then I'll let you go. Pop your feet onto your band. That should pull your shoulders down away from your ears. So have enough tension on your band. You can feel the shoulders drawing away. Turn to look over your right shoulder. Now tip your head backwards slightly. So you feel the stretch getting into those saline muscles, or the nasty ones that do all that kind of down the side of the arm pain up into the neck pain, very pain in the skins. Now chin in towards your armpit. And we're coming into the upper trap muscle stretch now, which is more of your behind the eye headaches. And just the neck, general neck and shoulder, like you want a massage pain. Good, bring your head back to center, trying to look over the other shoulder. Tilt the head backwards slightly, so we're into the front of the neck muscles here. So the band's job is just to pull the shoulders, anchor the shoulder blade so that you can stretch the head gently. And then that chin goes in towards your armpit. So we're getting that upper trap muscle between the shoulder blade and the, and the ear more so. Lovely, slowly return the head back to center. Give yourself a shake. Thank you very much for coming along today for a bit of fair bandy fun. Um, and I'll see you Friday. Uh, send me some requests so if you want to do a stretch class or I was playing with a slightly high intensity combined with Pilates, which is a funny combination. But anyway, if you have other requests, let me know and I'll see you on Friday. Thanks, guys. Bye.